So we're at my friend's garage right now. We're just packing up before we're heading to Wreck and Meet and getting it ready in the last minute things. So see you on the road. Guys, we are on our way there right now. I'm with my buddy Takashi, and we are heading up to the event spot and actually these cottages that are around that area, but it's uh, towards the event spot. But we're going into the mountains right now, so it's actually a really pretty drive. We went there last year, and uh, the drive is pretty awesome. So I'll show you guys soon. So my buddy, my buddy just told me that this road right here used to be a toge a long time ago for drifting and it makes sense because it's nothing but S-turns and uh, makes me really want to drift this road now. that we're going to is actually a ski resort most of the time obviously when it's snowing in the winter but right now it's uh, summer so it's open for events and it's a perfect event ground uh, plenty of room for a lot of cars and uh, it's a really unique spot so we'll be there soon and uh, you'll see what I'm talking about So here's where the event's gonna be tomorrow. That's the whole grounds area out there. And uh, yeah, it's all empty right now. It, can't, it looks like nothing, but it will be something. So right now we are uh, in the lot unpacking and uh, setting up right now so not too much exciting stuff but got our gloves and uh, we're gonna get set up for the event tomorrow it's gonna be a crazy event there's like 270 cars registered there's gonna be vendors over there and then all the show cars uh exhibiting right there in the main lot so i will see you guys shortly we are going to have a barbecue chill tonight so probably uh show a little bit of that but until then I get back to work. guys it's five in the morning here and uh show is just up there but we're about to head there right now help set up with staff so i am way too tired <laughs> i'm not prepared for this but you know we do what we do for love of cars so let's go
So we are getting started with wreck and meat. And uh, this one's very special because this one's actually put on in support of the uh, earthquake, uh, the victims of the earthquake that happened uh, recently in uh, Hokuriku, Ishikawa Ken Prefecture. And, um, you know, we're all out here for good cause because we love this place. But, you know, leave it up to the car community to uh, come together and do something for a great cause, right? So this show specifically is uh, USDM style cars and European cars. So it's very cool to see some of these cars. Like, let me show you this one right here. So this guy has California plates. Obviously, it's not really registered. And then this guy has Washington. Same goes for how, uh, you know, we do all the GDM style stuff, so they like all the USDM style stuff, so, you know, it goes both ways, but <clears throat> it's just pretty funny to see all the way out here in the countryside, <laughs> the California plate. This is going to all be filled with cars. Same with this, it's going to all be filled with cars. This guy right here taking a picture of me taking a picture or a video Tota. <laughs> one thing i uh appreciate about the usdm style that a lot of the japanese guys do is they'll do they won't go overboard at all like they'll keep it really clean either you know stands slammed like even this Volvo is super clean. I'm not a Volvo guy, but that's really clean. And then my friend's Civic is super clean too. So he does have a lot of stickers. But it's it's like that uh, mid 2000s uh, GDM style but like USDM GDM style. So that's kind of cool. It's like a little twist on it, right? It's like still a GDM car, but it's the USDM style GDM cars. How they used to do it. Spoon sticker right there. Love the bronze hardware on it. 
or rose gold. It's just a crazy good mix of cars here. You got everything from you know your Evos, even a Corolla, Miata, even minis, old Civics, BMWs, M3s, and even classic Porsches and classic JDL. And an inventor. So you really have everything. And everybody's out here, rain or shine, fawn. We love a cars. So at almost every show, there's always the lot where people are just, you know, generally parking or actually in the show. And some of the cleanest cars can actually be found in the uh, general parking lot. So let's go hunting. Let's see what we can find. Oh, E90 M3. I think this might be my friend's. I'm not totally sure, but he has the same uh, same looking car. Let's see, let's see. Ooh, I see G86, what's that? Oh, SH go. Oh, where are you going? Celsius. Toyota Celsius with Advans on. Spotted these two GR86s. Dang, so clean, dude. Oh, I want this white one. Oh, that's fire. I love that one. Dang, he's talking. Might be the next car, might be the next car. Let's look at this black one. Satin gold wheels too. That's a very nice touch. I'm not a big fan of uh, black cars in general. Just, it's not my thing. But I do like a lot of black cars. They do uh, come out clean when they're Tastefully modded. Premium edition wing. That's nice. It's P3 
beautiful Long Beach Blue M2.